Hey, this is Pete Madsen, and I'm here to talk about playing slide in open D tuning. The little uh, passage I played here is something I called the pass. It's not so much a complete song as sort of a, a Ry Cooter style kind of riff idea that um, it's just meant to really try to get used to playing slide in a couple of different formats. Um, I'm playing slide on the first string. Oops. And on multiple strings. So first off, let's talk a little bit about detuning. Uh, open detuning uh, is one of the more common tunings of slide players and um, uh, uh, finger style pickers, uh, blues style pickers like to use. Um, it's sometimes called vestipole tuning. Uh, and as I have written back behind me, the tuning is D, A, D, F sharp, A, D. D, A, D, F sharp, A, D. Um, you can also have a version of this tuning uh, where you're tuned up to E, to an open E chord. Uh, the pitch higher, but the relationship of the strings to each other is the same. Something like Dwayne Almond, we use, use open E tuning. Um, open D tuning was used by uh, many different players, including uh, uh, Wright Cooter. And this little piece I'm playing called The Pass is sort of meant to evoke something like Wright Cooter's Paris, Texas, which itself was sort of referencing Blind Willie Johnson's Dark as a Night, Cold as a Ground. So thinking about those sort of two players and songs uh, gives us sort of an idea of, of how to approach slide in um, a more open haunting view, way rather than a straight up boogie kind of uh, blues kind of thing. So let's we'll talk about a couple of things here. Slide uh, wise I'm using a ceramic slide. Looks like that. This is actually the Kedmo autograph version. Uh, I like ceramic on acoustic guitars. I'm using a guitar with medium gauge strings 13 to 56. Um, some people like to put high, even uh, higher gauge strings on the upper strings. Some people will use a 15, 16, something like that. Uh, I'm happy to use just a regular medium gauge set. It works for me. I'm not going to mess with it too much. Um, but in general, playing slide guitar, um, having a heavier gauge string works better. Higher action works a little better. And if you're just starting out on slide and your guitar is set up to play with really low action, it can be a little difficult at first. So just keep that in mind. The lower your action, the thinner your strings, the harder it is going to be to get a good sound. Um, let me start off a little bit with what I played here just uh, at the beginning and show you what I'm doing. That first lick idea it has this very open sound to it. I'm doing a hammer on on the second string, second fret, then playing the first string open. And then I play slide on the first string from the fourth to the fifth and back to the fourth fret. Now, if you're totally new to slide, the idea here is you want to target the fret wire and not in between the fret, like you would like if you were picking with your finger. I can put my first finger anywhere in that in that fret and get the same sound. But with a slide, I get four or five different microtones. So the idea is, if you want to get really proper intonation, you got to target the fret wire. And in this case, I'm going between the fourth, fifth fret, and back to the fourth. thing I'm doing here is I'm hit, hitting this open six string and letting that ring. You can still hear it ringing while I'm playing the slide note. It gives it that nice open sound, that nice kind of Blind Willie Johnson, Ry Cooter's kind of sound. 
that these everything's sustaining and sounding big and reverberating. <laughs> The next thing I'm doing there is I'm playing slide over all the strings. Uh, this is trickier than it looks or sounds because if um, you have your slide laying on the strings and you don't have them laying, the slide laying consistently over all the strings, you get the scratchy sound or just not making contact. So you gotta make sure that your slide is contacting all the strings, laying flat. The strings. Um, remember that you don't have to put much pressure. You don't need to push down. Uh, just let the slide rest on the strings. In this case, I'm uh, I'm moving the slide very slowly to kind of milk this nice haunting sound. Continue on. Right here I'm playing an A7 um, chord. Uh, it um, very common chord shape used in open D tuning for blues. Okay. Come back to my lick. So the good thing about this little segment, this little piece, is you don't have to worry too much about timing. It's just to work on getting a good sound. When I'm playing the first string, notice I'm holding the slide very low. It's not up here, it's down low. I have a damping finger that's riding behind the slide. Uh, this first index finger is touching the string right behind the slide to damp the sound. And that's the same case when I'm playing, playing the full chords. Also watch it when you're playing the full chords that your slide doesn't slant. It'll sound out of tune like that. So if you're playing full chords, just really use that fret wire as your guide. And line your slide up with that fret wire. Let's see, what else to say about that? Not much. It's a really slow, easy piece, uh, and it's really designed just to be working on your sound on the slide. So, so you know, this is a good place to start with your slide before you get into the, the, the slick, fast stuff or the Dwayne Almond kind of stuff, where it you know the speeds up and um, you really have to focus a lot more on your on your intonation. So, give this one a try and have fun.